Okay. So. Apparently I was sitting here talking to myself because I neglected to hit record, but whatever. Trying to remain calm, and it's not easy because I want to actually do this video without screaming or yelling or anything like that. Um, so, let's go through this again. I picked this arcade stick up again. We are recording, right? Yes. Okay, I picked this arcade uh, stick up for this Nintendo Switch. Um, the N30 arcade stick, which originally was the NES 30, which did not support Switch. And when they made it, the button layout was more Xbox-like. So, it does not actually correspond properly to the Switch's buttons. It's a bit of a problem people have with it. So, I went in to this thing and physically changed the button layout with by rewiring it. It just has the quick connects and it's very easy. It's like five minutes to do. And while I was in there, I threw in an octagonal gate or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And... Okay, so, so one of the complaints that people had with this was um, input lag. And they, uh, I believe Lon Simon showed it in his video. Um, I, while using this, I did update the firmware. And apparently in the patch notes, they did do some updates for, uh, for input lag. I'm not sure if there were any hardware revisions or anything to fix it. Maybe there was a Bluetooth radio fix or something like that that you can't get with the older sticks. I'm not sure. But this has been very responsive. I have not had any issues. Um, no issues with, with input lag. I would say there's always going to be input lag, but I haven't noticed it. Um, so yeah, uh, like I mentioned that I did swap out the buttons, no input lag so far, nothing like that. It was a bit of a, a little bit of a problem to pair with the switch, but it, it took a couple times and I, and it did pair. Um, and now it just connects automatically. I haven't had anything like disconnects. Some, some people have mentioned disconnects. I haven't had that issue. I do think the buttons are a little flimsy. Not the best buttons ever, but I don't know. I didn't pay. It was a lot of people originally paid eighty bucks. I didn't pay eighty. I paid like sixty. I think people have gotten for less, um, like fifty. So you know, it's about what I expect for the price. I guess maybe a little less. I don't know. But the main reason I got this because it's wireless, and I don't mind swapping out some buttons and stuff. I like to customize things, but I don't even know that I'm going to do that because I just got this, these things to play old arcade games and make it more authentic, um, stuff like that. Nothing, no tournaments or anything. I quite sure that this would not, you know, no Bluetooth stuff. I guess in tournaments, <laughs> uh, no, no wireless in tournaments. I don't know, uh, but whatever. So, yeah, the stick, it's, it's, I've never, I don't think I've ever used a decent stick except in the arcades, which I rarely ever got to go to, which is why I like having these sticks, because I really always wanted to go to the arcades more and never got to go there much. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, so apparently this is kind of like a, almost like a carbon copy of the Mayflash F300, which you'd probably better, you're probably better off getting that if you don't care about the wireless thing, because I believe that also, that supports more platforms like PS4 and Xbox One, and I think, and, uh, also supports the Switch as well now, so they did update, you can update the firmware and you can put, use it on the Switch, but not wireless though so if you want wireless this seems to be the only thing that there is and it works for me um it's fine so that wor that works fine <laughs> oh god um yeah and you have a usb you could also use it wired it's not only wireless so it's wired and wireless so you got the option to use it both ways um but like i said i got it for its wireless capabilities and uh yeah so comes out of the box i haven't charged it yet and it's been going fairly well uh, especially after i put that octagonal uh what's a face 
gate in there. Um, octagonal, oct octagonal, not sure, whatever. <laughs> we'll see two people fighting over that, whatever. Um, but after I put in that, it worked a lot better because you have the, you know, trying to throw a Dukens or whatever. It's just easier. I was even able to throw Hadoukens and stuff like that with one hand by just, you know, doing something like that. So it worked fine there. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't buy this for, like, prof any professional reasons. It's just, you know, it's cool to have for, like, ooh, it's like an arcade and shit. Yay. Fucking arcades. Yeah. Yeah. Outside of that, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, yeah, so I just wanted to point out some updates. Seems to be very responsive. And, uh, yeah, there is a way to swap these buttons. It's unfortunately, you have to do it in a physical way. With the Mayflash that I had before, there was a software way of doing it. It was like a hotkey that you can use if you wanted to swap the buttons. But when you selected the switch mode, it would actually automatically set it to... Um, the Nintendo style of button mapping or whatever. And if you wanted to, you could do like a hotkey to set it to the Xbox way of doing it. So there's nothing like that here and you have to do it physically. So that kind of, kind of sucks, but oh well, what are you going to do? This is probably like the best video you've ever goddamn seen in your entire life. Anyways, so that's about it. Um, that's all I can t say. That's all I can tell you. Thank you for watching.